the difference between SPIR, the spat parts, intensity stability records, and the point ways and drawings. Of course, this term is very important. As you are a new engineer who is going to join or who is working currently in the engineering industry or oil and gas industries, yes, this term must be understood well before you are going to review in detail. Uh, coming to the SPAC parts in the record, yes, I just explained uh, about the list of uh, documents uh, to be reviewed in my previous video. So, uh, I mentioned that the SPIR, the SPAC parts in the records, to consider for performing the or planning the, the maintenance activities. So, keep on watching Reference Engineers videos. Welcome to Reference Engineers. clear discussion here uh, between the spill rack and the pot list and drawings uh, generally uh, if you go if you're in an industry um, you, before starting the maintenance activities or if, if you want to go into plan for some activities in the equipments you will take this pot list and drawings by the name itself it is mentioned that pot list and drawings of course uh, if you refer the drawing or cross-sectional drawings uh, of the major equipments you can find the details of the parts uh, with the position number uh, yes uh, you can find the part description the install quantity part number specification the position number uh, this is uh, uh, commonly they will furnish or in the drawings of course uh, it is very very easy to review and you can identify hey, what parts is mapping uh, in the drawings um, and what makes the difference here uh, between the pot list drawing and spare, uh, yes, we are going to understand in details. If you are new to this pot list and drawings, yes, I will give you the uh, brief idea about this. The part description is nothing but say, for example, if you are taking your pump drawings, you can find a lot of uh, pot list, yes, the casings, um, then uh, the impellers, the shaft, uh, then the bearings. Uh, these are all the part name or part descriptions, uh, even the mechanical seals, all will be furnished here. And the install quantity, yes, say for example, the mechanical seals for the overhang pump, yes, the install number of quantity installed is one. Uh, and the bearings, you can find the uh, two bearings, it can be mentioned as the uh, number as two. And if you go, uh, if you refer this impeller uh, with the shaft, yes, you can find the install quantity as one. And part number, yes, this is the manufacturer part number, which will be furnished by the manufacturer. And the specification, yes, special material, anything for the casings, they will mention some special materials requirement. And the position number, it is the, nothing but the mapping of the number, which indicating the uh, part um, installed in the drawings. This is that number, it can be furnished. So do you think this is more than enough for uh, planning the activity for maintenance, uh, this one? Yes, many people will say, yes, I can listen, I can understand uh, you. Uh, yes, this is more than enough to do this activity. But if you ask me, not only this one, you have to refer the spare parts in the interpretive records. As I explained in my previous video, yes, uh, what are the list of uh, documents or activities to be prepared for uh, maintenance planning? I mentioned the spare parts in the interpretive records. I mentioned that I will explain you in the next video. Yes, I will give you some uh, brief idea. First, you have to understand the difference between the part list and drawings and spare. Yes. The same uh, clarification you might be having. I have the part list and drawings. Why I need to refer the spirit? Yes, it is mandatory. Yes, you have to refer the spirit uh, in the right proportion. Before understanding the uh, spirit, uh, you have to analyze well. You how to analyze the spirit is very important. I will give you the brief idea. Each manufacturer will provide you the spare parts in the records for the complete system. So whenever you are going to refer the drawings or part list, uh, request the uh, maintenance supervisor or uh, the engineering, your engineering team or the OEM manufacturer about this back parts in the records. Just what is here and why we need this back parts in the records is you can find all the information here. Of course, the name mentioned the spare parts in the record. Yes. You will find the recommended spares with the quantity for particular activity. Yes, 
generally if you are going for a minor inspection of the compressor system or uh, any uh, turbine system yes you can find the recommended spans with quantity no need to procure the all the quantity mentioned in the drawings specifically it is mentioned yes if it is a minor inspection go for uh, uh, bearings only or go for only mechanical replacement if it is a major yes go for uh, the procurement of the complete shaft all the assembly parts uh, and again it will mention yes uh, say for example the split line bolts of the casing uh, it is the install quantity is mentioned as 120 or 140 sometime uh, 200 no need to procure the 100 percentage of uh, the quantity the manufacturer will recommend the right proportion what is the required quantity to be procured or to be ready for for performing the particular activities so here comes yes the spare you can find the recommended spare quantity where you cannot find in the part list and drawings and second one yes interchangeability parts as i told you the part list and drawing is more specific to the assembly of particular uh, equipments uh, you have to refer many 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 drawings if you refer in the system but in the spare parts you will find the complete database of the spare part list only with a yeah, detailed information of all the uh, requirements uh, as, a, as an example i will tell you in the compression system uh, you can find the, uh, more than one or two or three compressors uh, in the same trying uh, if you want to go for uh, the complete uh, minor inspection or major inspection of the complete uh, system yes the interchangeability of parts is highly recommended to refer here you can find some of the reference number in the spare in the spare parts interchangeability records uh, it can be applicable in uh, as an example i will tell you uh, the thrust pads uh, or the thrust bearing uh, the same thrust bearing will be used in uh, another compressor also in the same time so normally we will order for uh, or we will select the quantity of uh, thrust pads yes or thrust bearing yes one number means then again in the interchangeability parts there is a reference number if you go to that sheet you will find the same part or the same uh, parts which is applicable for how many equipments you can understand and you can plan accordingly in order to um, uh, avoid any shortage of the material or to avoid any excess ordering of the materials so this will help you uh, more about uh, uh, planning your activity in um, for the particular task uh, even it discovers all the auxiliary system as i told so it is more 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 important to understand the difference between the bottles and drawings and spurs and moreover uh, i think this video will help you about the brief idea i have given you the brief idea but if you are in industry or just google it or uh, you can find a lot of drawings and just practice it uh, try to understand more yes here yeah, the major difference is Parties and drawing is more generic and you will find the generic information about the assembly of the components uh, with position number, specification, part number. But here you, it is somewhat like a master list what to do. It will help you to recommend in the right way. So this is the difference between the spur and the part list and drawings. And see you soon with other useful videos. Thank you.